and also in prior video series we had seen different videos related to informatica power center now in those videos we had seen different mappings workflows different transformations uh, administration part related to informatica power center now in this video series we are going to recreate few of those scenarios using informatica intelligent cloud services iics okay so this is the very first video of that video series and in this video we are going to uh, set up our environment so the very first thing which i needed was i created the virtual machine i also installed sql server and ssms so i will just uh, show you that so that's my machine name and uh, let me log in okay so i have hr i will create the database okay let's create go ahead and create the database so i will create hr database so i have my virtual machine i have installed sql server on that virtual machine i have created the hr database now the main difference is last time we had created all those videos using informatica power center now we'll be using iics that is informatica intelligent cloud services so you can create the account uh, 30 days trial account so iics free trial so you just have to click on that enter your details and uh, basically that will create the account okay so that is the very first step like you subscribe and log in into that uh, iics account so i will just show you like so that's my user id and it's my password and moment you log in it will display different scenarios now over here you have different things like you have administration you have monitoring you have data integration now what are scenarios we had created in using informatica power center that is nothing but kind of it's not exactly similar but to some extent or to many extent it is similar so i will just click on data integration so consider this is as your uh mapping in power center you have uh, mapping workflows and uh, administration part right so this consider this is where you have to create the mapping we'll come to that in in more detail how exactly this works like but before that uh since this is at cloud and we had to create uh, we have to connect to our local environment so from cloud right now it can't create so if i go back so the very first thing which we'll have to do is let me go back to administration part and at left hand panel uh, you will get to see runtime environment now by default there is a runtime environment here informatica cloud hosted agent but thing is we'll be we need to connect to our local environment so using this informatica cloud hosted agent we really cannot connect to our local environment we'll see that so let's say uh, i will go ahead and create the odbc connection I'll create the system dot dsn since uh, i have uh, i am using sql server so let's say on prem sql server and uh, let me give the server name as the server name next sys and i will connect to hr database it's not able to log in reason being uh, what did i do wrong let me remove it add client sql server on prem sql server next uh, let me see yeah so the sa password is working sa and next got connected now i don't know what i did wrong so the odbc connection got created now what i will do is 
let's try to create the same connection here basically we are going to connect to that ODBC connection from here so I will click on new connection let's say on on-prem SQL server and type I would see ODBC now I am selecting runtime environment just to validate how it goes so, and I will select other because mine is SQL server sys and sorry it's not sys it's SA data source name so data source name is the ODBC connection which I had created schema is DBO code page I will select doesn't matter actually and I will try to select test connection now it failed it says data source name not found thing is reason it uh, reason the reason why it gave that error is there is no connect connectivity so this is at internet and this is at my local there has to be some connectivity so like uh, in maybe in Azure environment we create the virtual network VNet so there has to be some connectivity between uh, this hosted uh, IACS service uh, to our local environment and the way to create that connectivity is this environmental runtime so I will discard these changes and uh, I will click on this runtime environment and here they give us the option to have that connectivity so that is something called downloads service agent or secure agent now moment I clicked on that will get that pop-up gets open and it will allow us to uh, download that uh, secure agent informatica secure agent so I will click on download it's getting downloaded All right, let me go downloads. Now it will prompt us like instead of giving this path, right? What I will do because there are spaces, right? In this path, so what I will do, I will better create. So I'll go under software, maybe. I will create a new version IICS okay and I will specify this path instead so okay next install basically it will uh, install a Java runtime environment which will uh, help us to have that connectivity established between our local environment and Informatica cloud should not take much time all right looks like it got installed and moment uh, it gets installed like if you get to see different things here see all those Java things got installed JREs and bin things okay now okay so let me mention my username and installation token so where we'll get the installation token so and here we'll get that installation token okay, I will just copy that here register starting okay now uh, okay, let's see here so it is still deploying services are not yet started yeah okay so services are still not running will take a while let me pause the video meanwhile till the time this gets okay so around 5 to 10 minutes my all services are started running now so as you can see like you can see here secure agent and all services are up and running okay so what we'll do now uh, let me refresh this I guess Ideally, we should see another uh, environment over here, but we'll see. Okay, let me go back to uh, connections. I click on new connection. 
connection name on prem type odbc uh, yeah. now here in the drop down the runtime it was not showing over here uh, earlier but now in this drop down you get to see this is the on prem uh, runtime environment we just which we just installed this is nothing but the same thing so this is one this is what we just installed so now because of this there is a connectivity between our local machine to our informatica cloud environment now let's see what happens so i will use exact same details data source name uh, yeah and this is the dbo code page i will select doesn't matter let's see test connection okay it got finished successfully so basically uh, what we have done so far in this video is uh, we downloaded so uh, we already had uh, created the account free trial version it's for 30 days uh, we downloaded so after that we went ahead into this okay let me save it we went into runtime environment tab and over here yeah see it's it came now on prem sql okay this is the connection sorry okay and we created we downloaded this uh, secure agent and you will get to see here also so informatica cloud secure agent okay and we gave the uh, path as this okay c drive iics created a separate folder all things got installed there and maybe after 5 to 10 minutes uh, after that installation gets finished it took around 5 to 10 minutes to start all the services the moment all services get started it will establish the connection between your local environment to informatica cloud environment and then you again go to the connection and create the odbc connection i mean uh, you can create any connection for uh, flexibility purpose i have used odbc connection okay so i have created the odbc connection and we also tested that connection that connectivity is successful uh, it's not showing right now and i will click here again okay so we'll stop here and in next video we'll create one simple map mapping pass through mapping and we'll see how uh, what is the difference between power center versus in uh, iics okay thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video